Tyros Fate Weaver, seer of both the past and the future, is one of the greatest sorcerers to ever grace the mortal plane. That is not what we are here to discuss today. Kairos Fate Weaver has an impressive assortment of spells and abilities, and especially with the winds of magic that he has at his disposal, can certainly do quite a bit on the battlefield. So he has tons of different spells to choose from. He has the Scroll of Destiny, which gives a nice amount of additional power reserves. But that is not the main focus point today. That is going to be the Lore of Death, Lore Passive, Life Leeching. Now, in Warhammer 2, Life Leeching gave back power recharge per second. But now in Warhammer 3, it gives back reserves per second. So that's 0.1 per second for 25 seconds when casting a spell. So that is going to give you back 2.5 winds of magic on a um, cast. And with some very cost-effective spells, the Blue Fire of Zinch is the prime example of that it only costs 5 winds of magic. So you're going to be getting back a um, significant amount of that in return. But is that exactly what we are going to be seeing when we cast that? So we're going to be casting this spell here onto Azarina Katarin. Now, this is a very nice spell. It does quite a bit of damage, and it is excellent at sniping out single entities. So we're going to get that going. Going to be casting off, heading towards Zarina, doing a nice, decent bit of damage to her, generating some decent value. And we can see that Life Leeching is, in fact, active. Now, we were at 80 Winds of Magic starting off. We had completely depleted our power reserves and so everything that we are getting back now is from that lore passive so we are 80 we used five winds of magic so we should be sitting at about you know 77 78 but that is not what we are seeing we are going to be at 79 winds of magic back that is not quite right something doesn't add up so we're going to give this one more go we're going to cast that off going to be casting for five winds of magic down to 74 and we're going to speed things up it goes in does some decent damage another 90 so damage and it's going to be ticking right back up and we are now at 78 so this is only cost us two winds of magic total and normally a spell that costs five each cast so that should be 10 winds of magic get back um about five in total but we are still sitting at 78 and so we're going to cast it one more time, which is actually going to be giving us our Arcane Surge, Zinch's Army ability, which would also give us some additional Winds of Magic. So already, Sarina Katarin is down below half health, some impressive damage. And this is just her base kit, so she's only worth 900 here. So that is already down half health on the enemy Lord. And we have access to Arcane Surge, which should give 0.3 back for 14 seconds. So it should be about 4.2 Winds of Magic from this cast. And again, we are now at 77 Winds of Magic. We have cast that spell three times, and it has only cost us one Winds of Magic per cast. So we're going to use Arcane Surge. And luckily, but unluckily, it is not actually going to be doing anything. You can see that it is active on Kairos' unit card. It should be giving us some additional reserves per second, but that is not going to be the case. We are still sitting right at 77 where we started. So something's not quite right, right with Zinch. Things are definitely a change in for this big bird, and things not necessarily for the better. So what, old Kairos, are you up to, and what have you done to the Winds of Magic in Total War Warhammer 3? Seriously, tell us what you know! Tell us! <laughs> 